Bam! Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we will be going to a local car meet just up the street about five minutes. It is a Cars and Coffee at a Chemical Guys Detailing Garage. They just opened up the shop, Detail Garage Los Angeles. We have been there before when they were over here in the city of Gardena. And now they are in the city of Hawthorne, which is relatively close. The cities are really, really like all together. But we're going to go over there, see what kind of builds that are out there. Of course, there might be some repetitive builds, you know, but some content for you guys this week. And some news, though, next week, April 29th, I will not be able to go to any cars and coffee. My job is irritating me with the schedule changing. I, you know, there's always, it's not consistent at all. And no matter what I do, no matter how, like, I ask them, like, hey, can I have a consistent schedule? They still don't listen to me. But it's okay, guys. I'm going to be showing you guys whatever I can, definitely. So don't forget to hit the subscription button so you don't miss out. Today, after this, um, Cars and Coffee will be headed back home to go ahead and see about the Fiat. And I do have a conclusion about what may have been going on with the car. When I was rushing to put it in, I probably put the gasket the wrong direction. So when it comes down to combustion, you need good valve seats, good head gasket, and good piston rings. My head gasket is good, but I might have put it on backwards, so that might have been what happened. I'll let you guys know later on today in the end of this video to see if the car is spark or if to see if there is uh, the head gasket. My pops is coming over, so he said, let me take apart the car and, and just diagnostic, you know, see what's wrong with it. So I'll show you guys that at the end of the video. Enough of me chatting, let's go ahead and over there to the detail garage, Los Angeles. And we made it guys over here in the city of Gardena, Hawthorne, Lawndale, Torrance. They're all the same cities, just in a little package. We're over here guys, cars and coffees. You already see there's some hoods popped up. Well you can't see the traffic, but hoods popped up, vibes are nice and everything out here. I am wearing the team shirt. This guy right here said to me. He tried. I don't know if he is gonna pull up with the thing on the bed or just leave. But. So, let me move you guys up. Cause last time I was talking, <laughs> just had my mouth there in the video. But, like I said guys, we are gonna be going uh, home after this. So we're not gonna go to a bunch of different meets like we usually do every Saturday and Sundays. Like I said in the last video, if you guys haven't seen, when I was over there at the Pomona swap meet, I did say I wasn't gonna be able to attend a lot of meets because I do have to start focusing on the Fiat. So, I'm not quitting YouTube, guys. I'm just focusing on something else. I'm still going to be showing you guys the best content out there, of course. So, don't forget to hit that subscription button. And share it with your friends, families, goats. And hit that like button. Help your boy out grow in 2023, guys. We're so close to growing. We only need, like, maybe 700 more followers until we're monetized. So, definitely hit the subscription button, guys. And, uh, yeah, enough of me talking. From here on out, I'm just going to show you some raw content of today's... Uh, Cars and coffee detail garage.
and each car probably has its own Bible. Well done, sir. You have not wasted your time. Palmdale, guys. A whole hour trip to come support Detail Garage Los Angeles. Insane. Alright, back to the video.
two right here are super couple goals. They've been to every single show together. They have the same style builds. They did win trophies last time at a detail garage. And yeah, they roll together, they die together. It's nice, it's really nice, man. Couple goals for sure. But so that is going to be it for today's uh, Cars and Coffee Detail Garage Los Angeles. I uh, did drop off a few cards, so my stack is running a little bit low, but I still got maybe like 400 is left in the house, maybe even more, but still got a lot of cards left, and you know, hopefully we get those subscribers up and everything, and um, if you guys want to exit the video, thank you for watching this far. If not, stay tuned. We're going to be going back to my house and troubleshooting the Fiat, so as always, stay safe, stay chill. All right, so now back at the house. Um, what I want to just explain to you guys is currently, you know the boxes, those are for all the oil spills and everything. So the gasket only goes on one way. So you have these little dimples right here, right? And then you have those dimples up there. So that's the only way that the gasket can actually fit on. Also, it does say flywheel to position where it's at. And this is on the exhaust side, so you can see, hold on, let me this guy up here there we go and there you go so those match up so this is the correct way I think when I was putting on the car when I was putting the gasket on I think maybe I put it upside down or something like that and it's just blocking one of the uh, intake or exhaust valves uh, this is the intake side the other side is the exhaust side but I think that's what's happening guys I think the gaskets just aren't incorrect but in the next clip you're gonna see my pops come through and he's gonna just do some testing and stuff like that and see what exactly is going on also this is the abarth cam and i will be putting that back on my car um when i had got the cam if you guys haven't seen the video when i first redid this car um happy actually snapped some of the bolts on the cam because we didn't know what we were doing you know and i didn't know what i was doing to teach her so um you know this car i, I definitely been through, it's been through some things, man. And the cam on this one, you know, the pop cam is a little bit smaller than the Abarth cam. So, therefore, it's just a uh, little anxiety right there. Let me see here. Alright, so under the hood. Like I said, this is the regular pop cam. It's a little bit smaller than the Abarth cam and the lobes are more open on the Abarth. So... That's gonna be replaced and yeah, the next clip, just enjoy my pops doing what he's gotta do. The next car meet, guys, uh, is going to be tomorrow. And um, it's, a, it's a new car meet tomorrow that we're going to, so let me see if I get a second. There we go. So, new car meet we are going to tomorrow. I think the page is called Cars and Pies. After that, we will be headed up to the city of Burbank and that will be the British Columbian meet, which is going to consist of a lot of minis. If you guys haven't seen already in Carcadia, they had some of the minis there. So that was pretty cool to see all the little old classic Mini Coopers and everything like that. And guys, if you are enjoying that content, hit that subscription button. Enjoy some diagnostics. permanent that was come on come on come on come on and 0498 is permanent at the evap system vent valve control circuits low and then the last one engine cooling temperature sensor circuits high that might be because of that head gasket right uh, 
sensors? Yeah, because I mean the temp sensor, everything is plugged in correctly. Yeah. All right, guys. So I am off to work now. As you guys heard, there's a Christmas light of codes going on with the car. However, though, I think it is also because of a dead battery. So come Tuesday, which is going to be a few days from here, I'm going to tear apart the entire engine block again, clean up everything 100%. And from there, we'll shoot from the stars, cross fingers, and hopefully it starts. You know, I got the new the new head back there the new head gasket the new cam well they're used but they're refurbished so i got the good parts and tuesday we're just going to switch it up if you guys stay to the very end thank you for watching the entire video i hope you guys do enjoy this car content as always guys once again stay safe and stay chill